Hello. I'm a third generation AX400 android. I can look after your house, do the cooking, mind the kids. I organize your appointments. I speak 300 languages and I am entirely at your disposal as a sexual partner. No need to feed me or recharge me. I'm equipped with a quantic battery that makes me autonomous for 173 years. Do you want to give me a name? Yeah. From now on, your name is Kara. My name is Kara. Well, in 2005, after um, my previous game, Fahrenheit, we wanted to explore uh, the possibility of creating emotion using the, the, um, the game engine in real-time 3D, using motion capture. And we really wanted just to understand what it meant to have emotion from a virtual actor. So we worked on this short demo called The Casting, uh, where there was this woman talking to the camera for five minutes uh, in a kitchen and telling the audience about her life and, and how she felt. I get the gun from the drawer in the bedroom and I tell myself that if this is all that life has to offer me, then I can do without. And, um, and that was very successful and, and people really enjoyed it at the time. But most of all, we learned a lot doing it. And um, many of the things we learned creating the casting was extremely useful um, working on Heavy Rain. So um, between the first casting and Heavy Rain, of course, we, we improved many things. We learned from our mistakes and we did things differently. But really, it was so important to us what we learned on the casting that after Heavy Rain, we really wanted to have a similar gap in quality and we wanted to move forward and, and see how we could have even more emotion, more of the original performance from the actor. And uh, we knew we had to progress and, on, on many different areas. And um, one of them was performance capture, which was something very important to us because Heavy Rain like many other games, was shot using what we call split performance. For technical reasons, we need to shoot the body on one side and the face and the voice in another take. And then you put all these things together and you cross your fingers that you got a performance in the end. So we did a heavy rain like that and it worked okay um, most of the time, but we knew that if we wanted to move forward and get even more quality and more emotion, we would have to capture body, face, voice together at the same time and really capture the performance um, of the actor in one take. So we invested a lot in uh, motion capture cameras. So uh, Heavy Rain was shot with 28 cameras. For um, Cara, we, we moved the studio to 65 cameras. We uh, have now a soundproof studio because we want to, to record the voice uh, final audio at the same time. So um, it was a big investment and the idea really was really the same to answer your question which was we wanted to learn how we can move forward and we learned a lot, really a lot doing CAR. Well you never really know where your ideas come from but I, I was really impressed by some of the, the books I read from someone called Ray Kurzweil and uh, one of them is called The Singularity is Near and it's um, about uh, artificial intelligence and uh, the fact that the human intelligence progresses very slowly where artificial intelligence has an exponential curve and there will be a moment in the future where both curves will cross and where artificial intelligences will become more intelligent than we are. And um, I just imagine this moment where for the very first time, uh, a machine would become conscious and self-aware in a way and, and just would start to feel something. And in, in Kara, I imagine that it happened like an accident in a way, like it's like a bug. Um, and this is exactly the moment where this thing happens. We spent a lot of time casting uh, actresses. Uh, we probably met about 100 actresses uh, in LA. Um, it was very difficult. 
Uh, the text was very difficult because we wanted someone who would, who would become a human being on screen. She would start being a machine and s slowly you would see emotion and, and humanity appearing in front of you and suddenly when she is, you know, broken, um, you would see how how stressed she is and, and sad and etc. So it was very difficult because in five, six minutes she goes through very intense and different emotions. So uh, yeah, we met about 100 actresses and, and um, the first time we, we saw Valerie Curry with the actress, um, she came to the casting and she has a, a fantastic look. I mean, she, she almost looks like an android, naturally. Uh, and, and when she started acting, uh, something happened. And uh, I, I could really see the magic of, of a performance and, and we just fell in love with her. And uh, she's really a fantastic actress and um, she's gonna be in the next uh, Twilight movie, I think. And um, yeah, just perfect fit with the, with the character and a very talented actress. Well, s since Heavy Rain, we have um, changed many things in the studio. Um, we have um, invested in uh, motion capture uh, to, to be able to work on performance capture, as I said. We have decided to develop a brand new 3D engine, pretty much from scratch. Um, we wanted to, to go much further and really improve the, the, the visual quality of our next games. And uh, we felt we had to change many things, so we just decided to start with a new engine. And um, it, it, it's been a very interesting process for us because um, the, the latest developments opened new, new possibilities to us in matter of lighting especially because the more it goes the more we work on lights and, and this is really uh, something really essential. So um, new engine and I, I think the next games will, will show a significant gap in quality compared to Heavy Rain. Um, it's important to know that Cara was done last year um, and that was done with uh, the V1 of, of the new engine so it was just finished in its first version there is not 50% of the new features that we have so um, yeah, I think um, gamers should expect significant improvements over Cara in our future announcements. I always felt that technology was not something important by itself, it's just a tool. So it always depends on what you want to do with the tool, but it doesn't hurt to have a good tool. But at the end of the day, what matters is what, what, we, what you do with it. So um, I, I think that the, the biggest gap for us is really about performance capture, because then you can really have the performance of the actor. Um, and it's a lot about lighting, how you can really play with the light. Um, in a way that it, it contributes to create the atmosphere of the piece and really create the ambience that you're looking for. Definitely, it's going, there, there's going to be a big gap between, uh, between Cara and, uh, and the next uh, titles that we will we'll announce. Um, what I would like to, to say again is that Cara is not our next title, it's just really a showcase, a technical showcase, but it's not our next game, it's not a teaser for anything, it's just a piece by itself. So um, whatever we work on right now, it's, it has nothing to do with Cara. And yeah, I can, I can say that the, the, the technology, the visual gap will be very significant. And um, we thought that we did a lot in matter of technology and visuals with Heavy Rain. But um, the more we work on the PlayStation 3, the more we realize that there's much more to do with, with, with the hardware. It's really incredibly powerful, and I think that people would be surprised by what we can still do with it.